Hi y'all, it's Mimsy here. Happy New Year. This is January 2023. In this video, I'm gonna show you around my house. We're gonna take a walk around. I'm gonna show you all the fun projects I have planned for this year. I'm super excited about this year. I've got some really, really fun things to do. A lot of DIY and a lot of home decor sewing, some upholstery, some slip covers, all kinds of fun stuff. So let's get started. Starting with my kitchen. This is the one I'm super excited about this project because the kitchen is where I spend actually our my whole family we spend a ton of time in the kitchen and it's kind of the center of my house I have an open floor plan so my kitchen is crazy used so anyway um, a while ago uh, maybe even almost a year ago now I bought some cabinets not cabinets but an et two etergés at the Habitat for Humanity and I also had a, on another trip I bought a slab of marble. The slab of marble was almost the size of my kitchen island. It's a little bit smaller, but it was fully crated, completely crated. There was paper around it. You could see spots where it looks like soapstone and they had it for $100. I bought it just because the price was so good and the marble is so beautiful. Well, when I got it home and uncrated the thing, it had a huge crack down the center all the way through. So it was completely in half. So I thought, okay, no big deal. I can epoxy that and close it up. Anyway, I what I decided, because it's a little bit smaller than this kitchen island, what I decided to do is I'm going to open it up so it's the same size as this and pour a epoxy river in it to join the two halves of the marble. So that's the first project, or maybe not the first project I want to do because my kitchen, um, I've got a bunch of things to do in here. So that's one of the projects. The two etergés that I bought, um, basically like open bookshelves, that's what I'm going to use and retrofit that to make the base of my island. So my island is going to be open and I'll show you that. I kind of started it. It's actually in my guest room. So I'll show you that here in a minute. But also one of the big projects I want to do are the, this window. So this window is original to my house. It's a 1962 and these are the original windows. They're jealousy windows which crank out completely inefficient. Um, they're kind of open almost all the time so they're terrible. Anyway. I found two windows, well, my neighbors left them on the side of the road, and when I drove by, I saw them and I thought they were skylights. I thought, huh, interesting, I could use those. I stopped and they were crank out uh, casement, wood casement windows in beautiful condition, screens and everything perfect for what I want to do in here. So well, let me tell you what I'm doing. This is my stove, so this is the center of my kitchen. Well, what I'm going to do when I put the new island here, I'm not going to put the stove here. I'm going to take the stove and I'm going to put it right here. So now my windows have always been off center, as you can see, they're off center and I, it kind of has annoyed me for a long time. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the case, the two casement windows I have and I'm gonna flank them on each side of my stove. So I'm gonna close this up right here. One window will go pretty much right here where this is, and then the other window will be equally spaced on this side of the stove. And then I'll have to close up this area here. So that means I've gotta bring electrical 240 over to this wall, and then um, install the windows, which are very tall. So I'm gonna to have to take out the bulkhead that I've got up here, and then I'll have to reconfigure all of these cabinets here. So I've got two drawer bases here. So I will take those two drawer bases and move them over here on each side of the stove and then reconfigure this all somehow. And then this I'll have to re-pour new epoxy for each side of the stove. And then for the walls, what I'm gonna do here, rather than having the epoxy backsplash on the walls, I'm going to install brick, a faux brick on the walls. So that'll make things easy and gives, give me some natural texture in here. For the very first thing I'm gonna do in here to start to kick off this project is my pantry. And let me show you that. Oh. I'm boiling some hot water to pour on some ants in my garden. So I almost forgot to say that above my stove, I'm going to create a hood, a nice 
curvy hood that I think I'm going to plaster. So it'll look like, it'll just be a plaster hood. And then my brick is gonna be painted. So the brick will be kind of a, actually I'm gonna paint it this same color, which is called Swan Wing by Bear. So I almost forgot that. All right, so let's go look at the pantry area. Okay, so here we are in this end of my house. You can see my fridge sits there. I have cabinetry here, which this cabinetry was originally in my daughter's bedroom and I pulled it out of there and brought it in here because we didn't have any pantry space in this kitchen, really no pantry space anywhere around here. And since we have no upper cabinets, it didn't work. So I brought this out and we use this for pantry space. So at some point I decided to make this corner a pantry because counter depth corners in a kitchen are really difficult to use. So I always kind of wanted to have a pantry cabinet like my mom had in her kitchen, which was a corner pantry floor to ceiling that had doors that opened up and hinged here and opened up all the way so you could get into the whole cabinet. But I just couldn't figure out how to make that work counter depth, 25 inches. Hers was floor to ceiling, but it was on the other side of her kitchen so it was only 12 inches deep so that I, I just couldn't figure out how to make that work here so i was thinking about it uh, i mull this over constantly it keeps me up at night thinking about these things and how to make things super efficient as well as beautiful and that's the kind of things i think about um so one day i decided to make a corner pantry there and initially i was thinking so i had looked to see if i could find any of those corner units. I couldn't find anything 25 inches deep for a full corner. So I kind of gave up on that idea and decided to try to build something in here that would work. So I found a sheet of plywood, cabinet grade, nice plywood at Habitat for Humanity for $17. So I bought it and I built this wall here and then used the off cut for this piece here and had a little bit left over. Um, and then I used uh, two by fours and one by inside here for shelving and stuff. And let me give you a close up view of this because um, you'll see it's, it's inefficient. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you in here. It's very difficult to see what's going on because it's so small. So this wall here, I put shelves for all my spices and things. And I absolutely love that. It's so, the spices are so organized, easy to get to, and I can fit wide things in here. I, I used dowels, and so they're, so they're sort of flexible, so that's really nice. You can squeeze stuff in there. So anyway, I love this. But, and, and my original intention was to actually put a door here. I never got around to that because once I built this, I wanted to live with it and see if it worked for me. And it kind of doesn't. It's too crowded. So here's the other. When you go in, there's the shelves. And then here I have a light. And then here's my shelves here, which it's so unorganized. Well, these shelves here are really hard to get to because trying to step in here it's just too tight you can't stand back far enough to see what you've got in here so it's just really inefficient so anyway let me show you what i got at habitat for humanity the other day on a whim look at what i got i got the exact corner pantry that i have been wanting for years at habitat for humanity and then this side pantry unit I got this one as well so this was actually a whole kitchen that they had for they had it listed for like two grand and um, I know the guys at the habitat real well because I was I go there every week um, it's right around the corner from my daughter's gym so I would go there every Tuesday after I dropped her off so I know them pretty well and I've bought a ton of stuff there anyway I asked him would he sell me just this corner unit and he did he made me a deal $87 then I was like you know what I think I could use this one too so I asked him if I could have this one sold me the same so I got each of them for 87 bucks and look at this let me show you how this opens I'll bring you in close okay so this is what I'm talking about with the, the doors so the doors open like this and there's a hinge here let's see if it'll like that and so the doors open like that and then let me show you the inside You see how the inside is and it goes all the way back into the corner. Clearly this is a shelf 
but yeah. So let's see how the hinges work like this. So I am so stoked. And then this right here opens up and has shelves and they're deep. So I am absolutely stoked about this. So let me show you real quick how I'm gonna go about installing this. So um, this wine thing I just built real quick right before Christmas just to have something here because there was nothing here at all. When I got this beverage refrigerator, I just, actually there was a, another file cabinet cabinet like that there here i took it out in order to accommodate that this was just open so i built this real quick so it's basically just sitting there i think i did put one screw into this so i'm going to remove this i'll take down this wall i will take down this wall which i put in so I'll, that will be easy and then that cabinet will fit from here and then around the corner to about here and then that 14 inch straight pantry cabinet goes here. It doesn't even quite reach that, so I'll probably have to put some sort of spacer there. Or what I was thinking is, I was thinking of trying to make this spice wall into one of those rolling cabinet things that rolls out like that and open it up so that I can, from this side even, roll this out and grab my spices and things like that. So I'm super excited about this. Anyway, stay tuned. I'll keep you, I'll, I'm gonna do videos of this whole thing. So, and then I'm debating on this. I'm, I would love to have a full on refrigerator and then a full freezer here. So, but I'm not sure, I, I buy everything used, so I'm not sure I'll be able to find that. But maybe if I do find it eventually, then I'll do that. So, so let me take you outside and show you, an, oh, I wanna show you real quick the island so far. I'm in my guest bedroom right now. My mother-in-law's been staying in here, so there's a little stuff on it, but anyway, you get the idea. So I am making it so that this part right here I can keep my bar stools at, so there's a little bit of space for foot room. And then this is where the river of epoxy will go. And there's uh, drawers here, drawers here, and on the same side, on the other side as well. And this is how the marble looks. I'll oil it because it's it's like soapstone, so I'll oil it and it'll look great. And then this is where the river stuff and it's very sturdy okay so this swinging bed is another project that I need to tackle really soon because I built this swinging bed and hung it here I don't know a year ago I'll have to look back at the date on the video but I've never made a cover for the mattress so I'm gonna make some sort of cover for it I'd like to have it um, be a uh, like a French mattress with the big welt type thing and then button cover but i also want to be able to take it off and wash it so it can't be a true uh, french style mattress because those are button tufted and that means it can't come off so that's a project i want to do and then a really large project out here is i want to close in this whole patio with windows and put ac so I'm going to install a mini split out here or a ductless AC unit, but I've got to likely have an electrician come over and assess our power situation to determine if I need to get another, just to assess the power situation and determine how much power I'm gonna need for the mini split and all. That's a big project. So I'll show you, let me show you the whole space. I still want to have a door there and then a door on this other end where I have the door, but then I'm going to install two double doors right here, French doors, and let me bring you around the living room so you can see how that looks. Okay, so when I do the windows, what I'll do then is I will remove 
these sliding doors and I'll just trim out the opening with wood and likely take down the drapes, I'm not sure, but trim that out so these will just be open and that will be all open. And then these two spaces here will be for double doors. That's my patio project. And then once I have these all windows, I will make Roman shades for every one of the openings, as well as I'll probably do some drapery panels in the corners or every other window or something like that. I'm not sure, but there'll be a lot of sewing out here. My neighbor's installing a pool. Oop. Looks like I took down Christmas yesterday and I forgot that. I've got to put that away. Anyway, so one of the other things I want to do out here is to make some new slip covers for those chairs, some new pillows for out here. I need to repaint that to make it look pretty. I did that, I don't remember when, and it's so ugly. Another project I've got planned is to make a new pizza oven. I'm going to make a mud pizza oven. I have a pizza oven outside right there. That red thing is a pizza oven, and I'm going to make a mud pizza oven because this one, we got it on clearance at Sam's Club, and it's really pretty, but it doesn't hold heat real well so you can really only cook like one pizza before the heat dissipates completely and you don't have enough heat to even cook multiple pizzas. I've already got some of the lumber for that and I've already got the fire brick for that. I'm hoping to get this patio done. It's a big project so we'll see. Let me tell you some of the other things I've got planned. I've got a list. Close the patio with windows. Poxy the ping pong table did that already. I want to make a Roman shade for my laundry room, so I will definitely do that, and I will make a video of that. It's a super wide window, so that will be an interesting um, Roman shade video that I'll, I'll definitely make a video on that. Um, I need to wallpaper my laundry room. I don't yet have the money to buy the wallpaper. We've got to save the money for that, but when that comes around, I will definitely uh, do a wallpaper video. I need to change the light fixture in my laundry room, so I'll, I'll show you that. That's actually a whole project that I didn't, I didn't show much of. I videoed, but I didn't post. I need to renovate my bathroom. My bathroom needs a complete renovation. I, uh, it's original. It's a 1960s bathroom. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. But nobody ever goes in there, so it just gets forgotten. But I would really love to do that this year. Let's see. I need to slip cover a wing chair in my daughter's room. I need to, oh, I am going to make some fabric covered lampshades. Let me show you these lampshades. So these lampshades, I'm going to get new shades and cover them in fabric and it's going to be like a gathered situation and then i'll cover them in some gorgeous fabric so that's a project and then i have one more in here and that is i'm going to remake my chandelier with cane open weave caning and this one's going to be really cool i did a cane, cane lampshade before but this one's going to be pleated it's going to be a pleated cane lampshade and i'm so excited about that i've got to order the caning for that it gets a little bit pricey because i'm going to need a lot but so that's coming too okay so this is something that's a really tiny little thing um, but it's it's very very useful. I've got a few baskets one basket that we use for our firewood And then I've got a few hamper baskets and like this basket could use one too But I'm gonna make fabric inserts for these and for like my big hamper basket The fabric will come over the edge, you know cover the whole thing and for my one that holds my firewood Same thing so the stuff doesn't go through and so for my hamper I could just take out the bag and carry the bag to the laundry room leave the basket easy project I also want to do a circle driveway a shell circle driveway. I'll show you that another day. And then I also want to do in my guest bathroom, I want to do some a lino cut, a linoleum cut in order to make like a print on the wall. I'm going to do that above the chair rail and do like a faux wallpaper in there too. That's going to be a really fun project that I'm really excited about doing because it's going to be it's just going to be fun. It's going to change. The, I'm going to paint the whole bathroom and um, it's just really going to update the bathroom. I'm really excited about that because it's simple. It's not construction. 
and I don't have to wait on an electrician or anything like that. Electrical stuff like changing out lights, light fixtures and chandeliers, I'm okay with that, but moving 240 wire to another wall, mm -mm. So, um, so some of these projects, or installing a mini split. I was trying, I've been looking into the DIY mini split systems, the Mr. Cool. I might be able to do that, but I still need to have an electrician come over and look at the electrical. So anyway, that's, um, that's my plans for this year. I've got a lot of, lot, of, lot of stuff going. This is going to be a super fun year for me. I'm excited. Last year, 2022, I pretty much spent the whole year in going back and forth to Denver. I was helping a friend of mine with her restaurant opening and it took me way longer than I anticipated and it was way more trips than I anticipated so I went to Denver I think 19 times in 2022 so that's where most of my work life was spent in between my actual real job <laughs> which is my workroom sewing for people and um I also do freelance event work, so I stay pretty busy. But I'm super excited about this year's projects, so stick around, subscribe, and hit the notification button below so you'll be notified every time one of my videos comes out. And um, I hope you'll stick around for them. It's gonna be a fun year.